What, what, um, what? W G. Banana, 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 Wow, that was That's from a viewer. It is from a viewer, uh, yes. Awesome. How about that? Yeah. All right, number nine. There's an artist you should check out on YouTube. His name is Wayne Cucci, and he makes incredibly detailed model boats. This is a lifeboat from the Titanic, but not just the boat. It's a whole scene from the Mid-Atlantic with the boat accurate uniforms, debris, like uh, deck chairs, and even bodies in the water. Oh, uh, what the? The 112th anniversary of the sinking was April 15th, Wayne Cousy. Wow. You pronounce it however you want. Yeah, right? it would have been nice to know. Look at that. Boy, there's, there's a lot of creative people out there. All right. Oh, there's, yeah, that's a little dark in yeah. the water there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, the well, they're definitely face mm. down. Yeah. Yeah. Should we do uh, number eight? Yeah, yeah okay. please. Uh, number eight. Who needs an SUV or a minivan when you've got one of these? It's the Radi I'm sorry, it's the Flyer Via from Radio Flyer. It's the little red wagon of family bikes. It has all the storage you need to haul all sorts of accessories, carry your kids, your stuff, your groceries, your pets. Plus, it's got real rear tail. Oh my gosh. Rear yeah, tail lights. It's not my fault. Does. I wasn't trained to read like this. Rear tail lights with turn signals, LED headlights, reflectors, and hydraulic brakes. All these accessories. You you're can interested your kids in this? Well, look at you can when you're you should be interested in this. You could put your kids in that in those seats, or you could put storage in there. I know you're busy reading the script, but look at that little double seat. I think my kids are gonna sit tight back there. I don't know what your kids' problem are, but mine would have just sat there mine like little leap. angels. Mine would leap for the street. That thing. <laughs> yeah. It's being marketed as a bike just for families, but at twenty one hundred bucks, it's oh. a little pricey. Huh. Bikes. All right, number seven. Morgan played Cher's 1988-9 song, Just Like Jesse James, yesterday, and we noticed that Cher had her boyfriend in the video. If you don't remember, his name is Rob Camaletti. Back in 1986, Camaletti was working at a bagel shop in Queens, New York, which is why the tabloids gave him the nickname oh, that's Bagel Boy. Right. Now I remember this guy. When he met Cher during a night out with her friends on her 40th birthday, Camaletti was just 22. A year later, they moved in together, and he was her date for the 1988 Oscars when she won her Academy Award. Camaletti himself did some acting, but the paparazzi wouldn't leave him alone, and he had a hard time with all of it. Cher and Rob broke up in 1989, but Cher and Rob are still good friends. He's a pilot who flies celebrities wow. in private jets, and yeah. Cher says they've even spent holidays with each other. No kidding. Go figure. Is that yeah. the guy with the bouffant hair? That was the uh, Rob Bagel yeah, Boy the guy? Big, yeah. Jeez. Mm -hmm. What was he even? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it was 1988. He yeah. was just looked like a guy. Well, I was there. Good looking guy. <laughs> hey, he's still he, a goof. He, he was a good looking guy. All right, he, well, dude. Okay. You he's say very so. judgy. He got Cher. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm a bit jealous. Yeah. yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> All right, number six. If you're attractive, men are more likely to tell you the truth. But women are likely to lie to you. This, according to a new study from beauty scientists. They found that the more good-looking a woman is, the more likely men are to open up to her, but the women are less likely to open up or share their truths. It goes along with the argument of pretty privilege and how people's good looks have helped them in their lives. You can read more about it in the Journal of Economic Behavior and Organization. <laughs> <laughs> which is, uh, I have a subscription yeah. to it. It is a fascinating read. Yeah, Jibo is what we call it. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, number five. Here's another fun one from a magazine in 1955. They asked teenagers to describe the one I marry. Nolan likes to hunt and eat gumbo, and he said she should be an eyeful, not always looking sorry and droopy, well-educated, attend church regularly, good cook, be able to arrange her home, not put too many useless things in it. Studied home ec and bookkeeping so she can keep home accounts. No smoking and drinking, help with things like the polio drive. And tomorrow, 
We will show what the girls say. There said. we go. Huh. Very specific needs from those guys. <laughs> Study <laughs> the mech and run the polio drive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Number four. No, you're not imagining it. Those I'm not a robot CAPTCHA tests are harder than ever before. They're designed to keep the bots away, but according to the Wall Street Journal, they're getting increasingly more strange and difficult <laughs> yeah, they are. for humans to figure out. <laughs> Instead of the usual test of choosing all the images with a bicycle in them, the newer, trickier test are asking people to click on items that are the same shape or to choose the only non-aquatic animal in the group. Uh, Stuff like that. It's such huh. a problem. There are now companies popping up devoted entirely to helping people <laughs> solve capture puzzles. Yeah. Wow. I'll be back. Or there's like just a, a little corner of something in there. I'm like, should I click right. on that box? Right. Right. Yeah. You know, uh, why it's so difficult? Yeah. <laughs> All right, number three, what is the origin of the term crocodile tears? It basically means superficial sympathy or a phony display of emotion. It comes from an ancient belief that crocodiles actually shed tears while consuming their prey. Poor Dawson. Uh, and they do, kind of. Crocs do have tear ducts, oh. uh, but they weep from emotion. They uh, do it, they don't. I don't know, do they? They do it to lubricate their eyes, typically when they have been out of water for a long time, uh, like when they're killing another animal before they <laughs> nah. it. So the expression is based on the idea that a crocodile is acting like it's sad for killing its prey, even though it obviously uh, is not. Interesting. Huh. All right, number two. Today is director Richard Donner's birthday. He would have turned 94 years old today. Donner, in case you didn't know, was one of the biggest directors in the 1980s. He did the Lethal Weapon films. He did the Goonies, but he also did a lot of TV, including this short-lived but iconic children's variety show, the banana splits. Uh, it ran from 1968 to 1970. Uh, oh, I know the theme for this. Uh, banana, two banana, three banana, four. Four bananas make a bunch of so many more. Over hill and highway, the banana buggies go. Coming up to bring you the banana Come on, you know this. Making up a mess of fun. Making up a mess of fun. La, 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 la. Oh, you missed one. It's a good one, man. Very underrated as a band as well. Yeah. <laughs> huh. You can see the the kernels of lethal weapon in yes, there, can't you? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been in reruns for years, because I, oh, yeah. I didn't start watching it in 68, that's for sure. It must have been on, and it was only two seasons yeah. worth? Underrated as comedians, too. Look at the physical <laughs> comedy here. Good shtick. Wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, I should keep reading. The banana splits gained popularity because it ran in syndication through the 70s and yeah. into the early 80s. That's why. Those reruns ran for so long, people don't realize how short-lived yeah. the actual show was. Mm. Yeah, same with Brady Bunch. That was only a couple, that was only like four years. Yeah, that we only saw forever. it in syndication, yeah. Number one, here's a great clip that's uh, kind of like a domino chain. Wow, this is cool. Well, isn't that yeah. cool? Mm. Ah. Thank you setting all that up. A lot of work, that's all I see. Hmm. A lot of work. There we go. If only we knew someone who had that many shot glasses. <laughs> Recreated, Robin. Yeah. yeah, I have not been putting my shot glasses to good use, yeah. obviously. That's the nine at nine. There we go. Morgan. 48 today. 